I know all of our viewers have stories about people that they know out of Florida who are dealing with the devastation caused by Hurricane Ian. Now, part of the state, I should say parts rather, looked like a war zone. Homes completely destroyed and flattened. But there were images of humanity too. The Daytona Beach police shared these pics protecting kids from the storm and carrying them on their backs. Now, we put up a few charities where you can donate money to help with the relief effort. And I think that's what's most important because when I read your comments yesterday, Yesterday and this morning, everyone felt helpless, felt hopeless, felt like that they couldn't contribute. So we have those. If we could put them up one more time, there are some actionable steps you can take to help the people in Florida. All right, we do want to switch gears and move on to a story that had a lot of us talking and even debating this morning. A top Apple executive is out of a job after he was caught on camera making some off color comments. So to give you some context, he was approached by a TikTok star who is known for asking people in fancy cars what they do for a living. Take a look. Good sir, your car's awesome. What do you do okay. for a living? <laughs> I race cars, play golf, and fondle big-breasted women. <laughs> but I take weekends and major holidays off. Okay. That is quite the career. I'm looking to get into that. <laughs> also, if you're interested, I got a hell of a dental plan. Okay. <laughs> you do it all. You do it all. So the executive, <laughs> Lindsay's laughing. So the executive had been with Apple for 22 years. He apologized to quote anyone who was offended by my mistaken attempt at humor. TVL Nation, always want to hear from you. What do you think? Should this Apple executive have been fired? Yes or no? Go to dblvote.com to weigh in. Lindsay, what do you think? Well, I'm just saying he was with Apple for 22 years. So like, what's the conversation where you're going to be like, okay, we're letting you go for this comment. There's no like suspension. We've seen people who've done much worse. Erica get suspended for much less time and get their jobs back. So, you know, I just, that's, it's kind of ridiculous to me. I think his comment was definitely not funny. He should not be a comedian. He should find another career path <laughs> now that he has to look for a job. Okay. But like, come on now, that's a bit much if you were shared 22 years of your life with a company and one TikTok to, does gotcha and now you're gone. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, this whole last two years did clean up some mess that we had here in America, but it, I, I think people are tired of it, right? People have their own lives. People say it's dumb things in their own group of or in their small circles. And that's why my circle is so small because I make jokes sometimes that if someone came up to me with a camera and I made that joke and then it went national, it's like, why'd you say that? It's like, man, I was just joking. The guy's wearing a British shirt. He couldn't even get out of the car. He's <laughs> yeah, that obviously outfit, like that outfit was goofing random. around. He's a goofball. So he made, someone came up to him with a camera. I mean, in <laughs> retrospect, you should have said, get away from me with that camera. I'm an executive, right? Not everyone's perfect. I like, think I'm going to infuriate you two even more because, and I'm on both of your sides, and then Erica chime in. So he didn't just invent this. We just found out that he quoted a Dudley Moore movie from 1981 called Arthur. So oh, yeah, like, of let's course. Let's say I'm like quoting like Caddyshack thinking I'm being funny, trying to be cool to some like young millennial, I sound really old. But then again, then it backfires and I lose my job. I mean, Al Jackson, our co-host, he and I have some very off color conversations. If those were to get out and people were to misconstrue it, would I lose my job? This is a slippery slope, Erica. I say that all the time in the group chat. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here? Like, are we on the clock or off the clock? Like, because that's the thing. It's the duality of like being friends, but also being coworkers. Like, we actually lived together. Sam and I were taking naps together at one point on <laughs> no. the floor uh, of like our green room. Okay, so we're very close. Um, I think that's in you quotes. Green room. <laughs> it was the yeah. floor in some yeah. room. <laughs> Before the green room was green, yeah. let's put right. it that way. Um, yeah, I think you have to look at the context of how this happened. They were clearly at some social event. I'm not going to speculate that the man was having a happy hour because he seemed to be driving a car, but he seemed like he was happy, okay? Mm. Um, and who knows, like, what the situation was before that. People have asked me before what I do for a living based on me being in a certain place or, like, in a certain neighborhood, and I never give a direct response. I'm always going to give some response that at the core says, why are you questioning what I do in order to be allowed to be here? So maybe that'll come off off color.
And that's okay for me, because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> so yeah, good. let me ask you this, Lindsay. Now that we're finding out, especially on Twitter, that this is a direct movie quote, do you think it will change things? Do you think Apple will then backpedal and apologize and rehire him? Or do you think the slippery slope is already paved? <laughs> well, I don't know. It, it, it feels like he can almost sue Apple. <laughs> right? Yeah, this is like, I mean, you're an executive. You lost your, I'm, I'm sure he left with some type of package. Mm -hmm. But like, was this, was he ready to retire? Like, you know, this is could cause a lot of issues for Apple, who also didn't want to get me too as a company, I'm sure they were like, oh no, staying away from this. So I get that decision to protect the bigger company rather than the person. But, you know, it looks like they made a mistake here. So let me read a couple tweets because I, I never want us all to be on the, the same side, right? We always want to present different perspectives. So a lot of people are against him. Okay, Twitter, uh, one user says he should have known better at that level. You should know that a negative social media can reflect negatively on the company, especially when it's about sexual harassment. And then someone else chimed in, good for Apple, leadership should know better. If you are an executive level, do you have to watch yourself 24 seven, even if you're off No, the you're not allowed to make mistakes or make off color jokes or quote a movie. How far are we going with this? We've seen in the past, just looking back, so many executives, so many on every level, whether it's this business or other business, cut their nose off to spite their face. I'm going to let this person go because I'm going to be the bigger person and show everybody and show the world and social media that I'm the bigger person. Oh, yeah, that person goes on to move on to a better career and say, you know what? I would have never had the guts to leave. But now that you cut me, I'm <laughs> 10 times more powerful than you are and your whole network. And I'm making more money with no with nobody telling me what to do or, or, or what to say or I can't say this or have a meeting on the side. I'm going to pack arenas on my own. And I feel like you Maybe should know. Maybe I was a little also, personal there. Well, you, <laughs> I was like, whoa. You should, you should know also when a camera's in your face. Like, for me, even if I'm playing, I'll be like, okay, can you stop taking pictures? Like, I've told people that before. Like, we're done with that. Get the camera out of my face. Even if it's fun for them, it's like, I'm done with you recording this. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to Colin. Like, stop. So, yeah. you know, that's even on Instagram, it's just like they're just being fun with their story. I'm like, can you delete that? Because I was talking to Colin in the background. That's like, why I don't do social media. Because if I say one thing that's quoting a movie, someone's like, hey, there's, there's just, what losers you are just sitting at home waiting for that gotcha moment, you're a loser. No one tells you that because you're scared of it. You're a loser. Yeah, I will three say times. there was a three fatal times. flaw in this story, and the flaw was he said the name of the company that he worked for. Oh. Like, I think that's okay. what, that really was like the nail, but ultimately I don't think what he did was as egregious as like people are coming for him. All right, good conversation. That shirt Let's... was more offensive than anything. <laughs> that oh, I believe it was, was a so vest. Intense. I believe it was a vest, which Even makes worse. it worse. <laughs> okay, let's see what our viewers say. Should the Apple executive have been fired? 88% of you say no. 12% of you say yes.